Hi, I'm Charlotte Diamond. I'm going up to explore Granny's attic. Come on, let's see what we can find. I wonder what's in this closet. A top hat. I used to have a top hat like this. I'd put it on and pretend that I was singing and dancing on the stage for my very best friend, Slimy the Slug. that Slimy's okay and he can dance another day. I love coming up to explore here in Granny's attic. There's so many interesting things. When I was little, we used to get things out of this big trunk and dress up and pretend we were somebody else. You know, your imagination can take you wherever you want to go. <gasps> Look at this. It's one of my favorite toys. I call this my hug bug. gonna hug you. If you're in a growly mood and sitting alone on your bed, the hug bug sneak up from behind and hug you right on the head. It's the hug bug, the hug bug, the hug bug. Never know where it's hiding. It's the hug bug, the hug bug. Watch out, it's gonna hug you. If you're sniffling with a cold and chilly right down to you, gonna hug you. If you tumbled off your bike and skinned both of your knees, the hug bug will sneak up when you're not looking and give you a great big squeeze. It's the hug bug, the hug bug, the hug bug. Never know where it's hiding. It's the hug bug, the hug bug. Watch out, it's gonna hug you. Watch out, 
it's gonna hug you. Now it doesn't bite, it doesn't sting, or buzz like another bug. It eats good wishes and happy dreams and turns them into love. So if you're feeling upside down or twisted all around, just keep your eyes open wide, cause the hug bug's coming to town. It's the hug bug, the hug bug. It's gonna hug you. Watch out! It's gonna hug you. You might want to draw your own hug bugs and then send them to your grandma or grandpa. Everybody needs lots of hugs. Even this little polar bear, he's getting a big hug from his mummy. Animals are just like us, they live in families too. When you've got pets in your family, be sure to love them, feed them, and take real good care of them. uncle's toque and his sash. He was French-Canadian and I used to call him mon oncle Emile. He would sing songs to me in French like La Bastrang. <laughs> Mademoiselle, voulez-vous danser La Bastrang, La Bastrang Mademoiselle, voulez-vous danser La Bastrang va commencer je voudrais danser la bastringue, la bastringue. Oh, monsieur, je voudrais danser. C'est pour vous accompagner. Mademoiselle, vous avez dansé la bastringue, la bastringue. Mademoiselle, vous avez dansé, vous allez vous fatiguer. Non, monsieur, je voudrais danser. La bastringue, la bastringue. Non, monsieur, je voudrais danser. Je suis prête à recommencer. Je ne peux plus danser. 
danser, la bastringue, la bastringue, mademoiselle, je veux plus danser, je suis trop fatiguée. Mais monsieur, je voudrais danser, la bastringue, la bastringue, oui monsieur, je voudrais danser, je suis prête à recommencer. When I was growing up, I only spoke English, but I always wanted to learn to speak other languages like French and Spanish. Let's go off to Mexico. Vamos a Mexico to dance la bamba para bailar la bamba. Arriba! It's a unicorn. Many people think that unicorns really existed. In fact, a statue of one was found that was over 2,000 years old. Even if they are imaginary, I'd love to go for a ride on the back of a beautiful unicorn. Loveliest sight I have seen 
wheels were spinning like wheels. Then I heard the purest of sounds coming from everywhere. The heavenly music I'd not heard before seemed to fill the air. Gently back home, but I'll not forget what I saw and I heard in the rainbow land I had known. Fly, unicorn, take me for a ride. Fly, high unicorn, we'll travel far and wide. Fly We can always dream about unicorns and dragons, and you can draw what you see in your imagination. Even though dragons never really existed, we know that dinosaurs did. Let's go back 150 million years to the age of the Brontosaurus and go looking for Dicky Dinosaur. Dicky Dicky Dinosaur lives in a swamp. Dicky Dicky Dinosaur gets very dump. Dicky Dicky Dinosaur is really neat, but she always trips on her great big feet. Thud. Thud. Dicky Dicky Dinosaur has four legs. Dicky Dicky Dinosaur lays big eggs. Dicky Dicky Dinosaur always wails when you step on the tip of her great long tail. Thud. Yes! Thud. Yes! Dicky Dicky Dinosaur is lots of fun. Dicky Dicky Dinosaur loves to run. Dicky Dicky Dinosaur runs real fast when Tyrannosaurus Rex is on her path. Thud, yes, run! Thud, yes, run! Dicky Dicky Dinosaur is a friend of mine. Dicky Dicky Dinosaur has spikes on her spine. Dicky Dicky Dinosaur loves to roar, but really she's a gentle herbivore. Thud, yes! Run, roar, thud, yes! Run, roar, thud, yes! Run, roar, thud, yes! Run, roar! Oh, P.U. These are my old sneakers. They're pretty smelly, but they bring back lots of good memories. I love to run, and with these sneakers, I could run faster than anybody else on the block. I remember one day... If you're on top, who's on
run together peacefully. Without a top, there is no bottom, no first or last or in between. Let's take turns being the leader. I'm sure we'll make quite a team. Cooperation. I learned. These are me granny's glasses. And this is her old mop cap. There was a monster that used to haunt me granny's house way over in Scotland. And then that monster jumped on a boat and came all the way across to Canada and moved into me mummy's house. And then that monster moved into my house. And I think it lives in your house too, because me granny was a ghost buster. There's just one job in my household that never ever gets done. Not even if I start at first light of day until the setting of the sun. I wash and scrub and iron and fold my life away. There's a monster that lives in my back room and never ever goes away. It's the laundry, the laundry. I'm slowly going insane. If I see another piece of laundry, I'm gonna stuff it down the drain. It has 16 arms and 16 legs and eight pairs of socks that don't match. It eats all the buttons and the underwear and every carefully sewed on patch. And if I dare to overload, it protests with burps and growls. And then in the quiet of the middle of the night, it throws green slime upon my towels. The laundry, the laundry, I'm doing it in my dreams. If I see another load of laundry, I know I'm gonna scream. But last night, I thought of a wonderful way to dispel all my fears. Put half of the laundry in the freezer. It keeps for a hundred years. Then send all your children out to play to put holes in their knees and their socks. Then the rest of the laundry just disappears into the mending box. The laundry. Time to write a song. The laundry, the laundry, I'm slowly going insane. If I see another load of laundry, I'm gonna stuff it down the drain. Well, I guess it's time to put everything away and close up Granny's trunk for another day. Let's go on outside and get some fresh air and sunshine. But remember, your imagination can take you wherever you want to go.
I got a lucky streak. I got the sun up all and down. The birds sing so sweet. It's all I really need. I guess I got a lucky streak.